Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I wanted to share with you the blooms on my beautiful blue Vanda Picara Delight. What a beautiful, beautiful plant this is. She has done very well since I've had her these past six months. I'm really, really pleased with this plant. I thought I would go over with you today little tips to help you keep insects at bay. Um, a lot of people have been asking me questions about, about how to eradicate insects. My top advice to you would be to make sure when you get a new plant that you don't have any insects on that plant before you put them around your collection. Once you place a new plant with an established collection, if there's any eggs that are going to hatch out, then they're going to infest that orchid plus all your other orchids. So make sure you have an isolation spot where you place your orchid, where you can just keep an eye on it for the first month or two. Just make sure that there's not any insects on it. I thoroughly inspect all of my plants before I bring them into my home. Um, when I come home, the first thing I do with a new plant is I have a spray bottle of dishwashing liquid. I use about a teaspoon of dishwashing liquid in a quart bottle of water and I spray this on a paper towel. I go over all the leaves, the tops of them, the undersides of them, these little crevices. That's where insects like to hide. Um, it's also perfectly safe to spray this mild soap solution in your bark. It will help you to keep the bugs away from your bark and I have seen a lot of insects in bark so I spray my bark pretty regularly. So as I said just make sure that when you bring them home that you do that very first thing. Okay here are my fowls that I have placed in moss media and I've also always noticed that moss media attracts fungus gnats. And I've seen a lot of people ask me, asking me how to deal with those. Very simple. I get a bowl of water. I put a few drops of dishwashing liquid and do you see? I didn't even know I had fungus gnats. Didn't see any sign of them at all. And uh, as you see, I didn't want to I didn't want to rinse this out until you saw the little fungus gnats in the water. It's just a little precaution that's going to end up saving you a lot of time. If you can catch just a few bugs before they overpopulate, then you have stayed ahead of the game. An ounce of prevention is a, worth a pound of cure. Now, as you know, if you do have a, you know, if you have an infestation, you need to go and buy some insecticidal soap or some neem oil and follow the directions on that very, very carefully. Make sure that you spray and then you respray according to the directions on those bottles. But I hope that that helps you keep your insect population way down and you all just have a fabulous day and be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed. And we'll see you next time.